I put some ice on you cause you gotta go home. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go Got that ass to the floor Good morning vlog. So starting to vlog off looking a little rough, just a little. And right now I'm at Sonic. It's Thursday, the weekday it always is. It's Thursday. I'm at Sonic picking up a coffee because I am just so tired. Like and I got a good amount of sleep last night, but I'm just so tired. And it's early. And I've already gone up. I've been up, went to class, did all of that. So I need to be productive today. I'm getting a coffee just to get myself going. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. What are you doing today? right? I'm yes, please. Perfect. Thank you. you. Stay safe. Enjoy your day. You too. Do you want me to see? No, I'm okay. Thank you. you. Sorry. Just brought my coffee. But, yeah, so before 11 a.m., you get some type of deal on the coffee. I guess maybe I should have said, yes, I do want my receipt so y'all can see. So I can see tell y'all and it's not just coffee you get on uh, all drinks today i'm gonna make it super productive i do have a meeting with my friend um i'm super excited because i haven't seen her in forever and i'm gonna meet with her later and we're gonna do bible talk and then maybe get dinner after and I, it's gonna be a group bible talk <clears throat> but um and then maybe we'll get dinner or we're gonna hang out afterwards we're gonna do something i don't know yet but yeah so that's I'm looking forward to that. I just haven't seen her in so long. So gonna hang out with her and yeah, that's pretty much like it for the plans plans today. Um other than that, it's gonna be pretty routine. It's going to be just I'm gonna work out, gonna do my homework, I'm going to clean the room, light my candles, you know. The stuff y'all always see me doing on vlogs, which is why I feel like it's getting kind of repetitive and yeah. You know. Oh, I'm going shopping this weekend because I have a whole bunch of coupons. It's card holder month for Victoria's Secret. So got to go shopping this weekend. Plus I have old navy cash, I have Kohl's cash. I'm going shopping this weekend. So y'all would probably get a haul and other than that, I'm going high yoga Friday, which is tomorrow. Other than that, I'm not quite sure where the weekend may take me, but y'all will be along for the ride. just got done reading my bible and i feel so good i just want to share this one note that i wrote in my bible today i was reading lamentations if i said that wrong i'm sorry but i'm reading um lamentations or lamentations and i'm reading um chapter three and well i already read it and i have a note i like to write in my bible and I wrote something a while ago. I don't know when I wrote, wrote it. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I don't know. It was just so powerful for me today. And so it says, hold on to the hand that was nailed to the cross for that hand knows pain like no other. Oh my gosh, that was so powerful to me, but I'm not done yet. And then it says, our hope is in him and our prayers will never fall on deaf ears. And that just really, I don't know, that just really spoke to me today. And I wanted to share it with you guys because if anyone needed to hear that. But hold on to the hand that was nailed to the cross for that hand knows pain like no other. And it's just so true. And it's just like, you know, we think sometimes we get so caught up in what's going on and with ourselves and you know all the feelings that we're feeling and sometimes we just feel like oh no one understands me no one you know no one can possibly know what I'm going through no one can you know be sympathetic to me no one can you know no one knows and it's like okay let's say no one else on this earth knows 
hold on to the hand that was nailed to the cross because he knows pain and he understands and he's there for you and he knows pain like no other and whoo y'all when i tell you i was almost in tears when i read that i was literally almost in tears <sighs> but okay i just wanted to share that with you guys i'm gonna get back to my day i have my candles lit around the house like it's a vibe and i just feel so good i almost don't want to leave but i need to go work out I need to go work out so i'm just gonna finish up here and then i'm gonna head to the gym <laughs> workout in and now in planning fitness it's been like this for um a couple days now but this is my first time being up to y'all they have the little shield is it plexiglass they have plexiglass up and like in between the treadmill so i guess like they haven't had that before which i feel like that was something you probably should have done at the beginning of the pandemic but i guess now it's so that like people who want to work out together like if you want to be on the treadmill together with a, a workout buddy you can be side by side because you got the glass i don't know but yeah i tried to show y'all but i didn't want to get caught recording that's kind of awkward for me probably other people don't care but Whew, i had a good workout i feel good okay i'm just gonna get on with my day i might do an instacart we'll see now i'm gonna go home and get started on laundry and stuff I be forgetting I have a class at three on Thursdays because we don't never do that. But, or I really don't pay attention. Let me say that. But yeah, I do have a class at three, so I need to be home for that. But other than that, I don't know what I'm about to do right now. So yeah. Good morning, y'all. So <clears throat> it's the next day. What is that on my? I don't know what that is yeah it's the next day i didn't finish vlogging yesterday for real um i didn't do nothing i just i was super productive i got a whole bunch of work done and i got i accomplished everything i want to accomplish yesterday so big ups to me but it was nothing vlog worthy um i did go to a bible talk and then i hung out with my friend we did homework but other than that it was a pretty uneventful day um I'm up. It's like nine. It's now fifteen. As I was saying, oh. come on then. <clears throat> it's nine fifteen. I have hot yoga at twelve, so that's why I'm got my little suit on and I'm laying my wig down. And yeah, um. <clears throat> Today is going to be probably another uneventful day. I don't have anything planned today. Tomorrow, I'm going to go shopping. But today, I really don't have nothing planned other than yoga. And yeah, so we'll see what the, where the day brings us. I, it really might just be super relaxing because honestly, I don't have any work to do because I'm like pretty ahead. And I'm to the point where I'm so ahead that I just really, you know, they only post so much at one time. So we'll just see how where the day takes us and I will bring you guys along. Me and Bentley will probably definitely go on a walk today because I don't think it's supposed to. I don't want to jinx it, but I don't think it's supposed to rain today. It's been raining nonstop these last few days. So hopefully we can get a little walkie walk in because we haven't been able to. But yesterday it really didn't matter because yesterday is Bentley's dead day. Bentley be dead tired on Thursdays because on Wednesdays he goes and plays with his friend and the kids um at the sitter. So on Thursdays, Bentley be no good. So really it didn't matter um yesterday. And then I guess it so today is really the first day that we really need to probably go on a walk. Even on Fridays, he still be recuperating too, but he's a little better on Fridays. Isn't that right, Stinky Booby? Mm-hmm. He loves behind the ear scratches. 
yeah today's perfume of the day is calvin calvin klein eternity and <clears throat> i don't even really know how i feel about this one but i just sprayed it today just to i already spent my money on it might as well use it but it's definitely not my fave perfume okay y'all so i'm back from i don't like this hat oh neither does bentley it's like not a dad hat like i thought it was this is like giving me snapback vibes and i don't like that i don't like that at all yeah this ain't no dad hat but anyway i'm back from hot yoga and as y'all could probably see from these spots on my shirt i got drenched and today's class was hard like today i'm not gonna lie i took some breaks i don't think i did that good in class today but that's neither here nor there as the yogis say the biggest battle is just showing up and i conquered that battle but yeah so um class was just hard today i think it was has a little bit to do with the instructor I, I feel like she's just a little bit of a harder instructor but i love her i love her <clears throat> And I don't know, I don't know if my mind just wasn't into it or, you know, sometimes you just have bad days. Some days are better than others. Like last time I went to Hayoka, I killed it. I, I killed it last time. And then this time, I didn't do so hard. Like for one, progress is not linear. And then two, some days you're just not gonna have the best day. And I didn't do terrible. Like I didn't sit down the whole entire time, but I took more breaks than I usually have to take. And they also, as the yogis also say, there's a lot of strength and power in knowing when it's time to take a break. So I exhibited strength and power by taking those breaks. That's why I love yoga. Like, it's just like a do what you can. Don't do what you can't. Give me what you have. I don't expect nothing more like take in what you need leave what you don't I, that's what i love about yoga it's just like a it's such an individualized experience i'll take you one day bent it's such an individualized experience and then it's also just such a accepting and welcoming atmosphere and environment that you just it's like no matter what you do you just feel so accomplished and you feel so celebrated and I don't know and maybe it's not like that at every yoga studio I would I hope so because like I don't think I'm not really not gonna live here the rest of my life and so but I would like to do yoga hot yoga for the rest of my life so I hope that the next studio I go to is just as I hope I love it as much as I do this one because I this studio has just really done a great job of fostering my love for hot yoga like i really recommend it i know i talk about it in every vlog y'all and i know y'all probably tired of hearing about it but i really do recommend oh i'm hungry again and i wanted some i want something like fresh like i want a really good salad and it's this place um it's not too far but it's just like a little bit farther than i feel like driving they have this really good um chicken tender salad and it, you can get it like regular or you can get it buffalo style so i get it buffalo style and it's so good it's just so fresh and then it has like the onions and the uh, it's just so good and then i get it with um I usually get a side of sweet potato fries with it. It's called D Rose. So I, that's what I'm really wanting right now. But it's like an actual restaurant. So if I do, like, I, if I call my ordering, it's going to take like 20 minutes. And I, I also have to drive there. Yeah, I hate driving places. Bentley, driving places will get me out of doing a lot of stuff, y'all. It driving when I think about if I have to drive somewhere, I'd be like, I don't even want it. it some stuff just don't be Bentley. Some stuff just don't be worth it enough for me to drive to it. Yoga took a lot out of me today, and I you now I just need to chill out. I'm probably gonna take a shower and just chill. Um, I want to watch finish watching this um perfume video I was watching on YouTube. I bought me a new perfume, even though I don't need none. I don't care. 
it was a good price I, it was a 3.3 size dolce and gabbana for 41 dollars, and that's including seven dollars shipping and i paid two dollar tax so that was a steal don't care what nobody got to say about it and the girl in the video that i'm just watching she uh, she said it smells real good so pick that up hopefully can't wait till it gets here to smell it i love when i blind buy and i smell it and then i'm like yes this is why i listen to the girls on youtube only time blind buying has went terribly wrong for me i have a very um accepting nose i, I would call it i like all different type of scents the only time i just hated something that i blind bought because somebody on youtube told me to buy it it was a couple of people it's angel uh the air the air mugler angel it smells dis disgusting i hate it and i spent a good amount of money on it it was like $60 I spent on that. Like, if I was spent 30 okay, you know, I wouldn't even be that mad at it. I spent $60 on that, and I literally hate it. And so, and I don't want to give it away, because that's like, for one, I don't know who, I don't, I don't know nobody who would like how that smell. I just don't. And maybe it just smells bad on my body chemistry. Maybe it smells completely different on someone else's, and that's why they love it. But it's a no for me. Bentley Air and I are on our walk. We're at a different place. I don't think I've ever taken you guys here. And um, this is where I go when we want to do like a shorter walk. It's just like a little trail and there's a tennis court. That's why I, where I play tennis when I come to play tennis. And yeah, we're just walking. When we get like halfway through, I'm gonna call and order my food. And there's a basketball court on the trail. It's like an actual park. The other place that we've gone to that I showed you guys is a trail. And this is an actual park with a track. And yeah, there's like, it's super quiet usually. Well, always. And then there's like a playground over there. So, yep, yep, yep. Um, I think I'm gonna end up maybe washing my hair tonight that'll be a task i'm gonna do tonight because i had a good nap and i don't got nothing else to do because i'm gonna be up all night so let's wash our hair and me and Bentley we're just gonna enjoy our lovely lovely walk doesn't he look so majestic bentley is terrible y'all it's bunnies over there and he just don't even see him he pays them no mind what a he's just not a dog i don't believe he's a dog bentley proves to me every day that he's a human uh, looks like real gloomy out i hope it doesn't start raining on us especially because it's been raining all week i'm sick of the rain but okay i'm eating grass not supposed to come on stinky <laughs> There's this like super dirty pond or what do you call it? I don't know. I think it's a pond. But yeah, it's over here and it'd be super pretty if um they like cleaned it up. Like if you guys can see, it's like super dirty. But people fish in this pond. Of course, I'm sure they don't eat the fish that they catch. But people definitely fish in this pond. Um, I've seen them. Not in a while I haven't seen them. Well, of course, it's been winter, but... I've seen people fish here before and not super often, but yeah, I oftentimes wonder, like, I know they say all dogs can swim, but can Bentley truly swim? Like, I want to see him swim, but I'm also scared he would drown. So <laughs> when people run by Bentley, he always wants to like, not chase them, but he wants to join them in their run. <laughs> and so he's trying to hurry up and get, I don't let him, of course, but he tries to look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he is so crazy and now he gave up <laughs> or maybe he didn't okay <laughs> Bentley no decided to get ice cream and as you guys can tell Bentley is excited as y'all can see Bentley is enjoying his ice cream he had a whole scoop and not that long ago and it's pretty much about to be gone 
I get the jackhammer, which is just, it means it just has something in the middle of it. And I get caramel in the middle and I get Oreo and Butterfinger sprink, um, mixed in. And it's super good. And we went to Andy's, by the way. Super good. It's a little bit too, it's custard, actually. So it's a little bit too thin for me, but it's whatever. Here's my food. Sorry if the lighting is bad, but it's just a salad um, with the buffalo chicken tenders on there. They usually give you way more chicken than this. I don't know what's going on today, but got that. And then some sweet potato fries. This is the perfect like light. I don't know if you consider it sweet potato fries light, but they're lighter than regular french fries. And that's what I'm gonna eat tonight. I think I'm gonna watch Coming to America too and just chill for the rest of the night i don't have nothing planned it's friday i ain't got no job and i ain't got nothing to do so i'm gonna just relax okay so y'all know i've been doing no soda for the year and i've been drinking like alternatives and i like these clear american um what are like sparkling flavored flavored sparkling waters i like these and so i was drinking this one last night in the middle of the night y'all I'm not gonna lie, this tasted like a cherry Coke and I was delighted, very delighted. So I'm buying more of this flavor. Um, I like all their flavors really, like the lemon lime. Y'all, it was giving me Sprite vibes. It was really strong, like a Sprite. And this one was giving me, like I know it's like cherry limeade. So yes, it has cherry, but I didn't get no limeade. I got all cherry Coke and I was here for it. So I'm definitely getting some more of these. And they have zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine, zero sodium. So I guess that's healthy. If it's not, just let me live. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day and I'm headed out the house. I'm getting a kind of late start to my day. Not that it's super late. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, but I'm calling it a late start because I've been up since 8.30 and I could have been out the house. I've just been diddly daddling around. I'm headed to the gym, even though I don't really want to go. Because today I'm going shopping and I really just want to go straight to shopping, but I'm going to work out, I guess. So I'm headed to the gym and then we're going to be on our way shopping. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I'm just going to head out and get this day going i kind of want to stop and get a coffee but i don't think i'm gonna do it last night i watched the movie um coming to america too it was pretty good i mean <clears throat> by no means was it a classic but it was funny it was a good movie yeah you know, i watched that last night and i didn't do nothing else well i lied i did um i did um washing and wash my hair i didn't deep condition just because i don't know i didn't feel like it and i always deep condition my hair so i can afford to miss a treatment but um yeah i just deep condition i mean i washed my hair and then braided it up again and my hair is so healthy and it's growing so much so i'm super excited about that okay but yeah let me get out the house tonight today my perfume since i like to tell y'all i'm wearing very sexy night by victoria's secret today let me get out this house hey y'all so i just finished my shopping excursion um it's been raining all day so like it's just been y'all can see the rain on my forehead <laughs> it's been raining all day so that's kind of been putting like a damper on the day honestly um i've just been running around i worked out i cut my workout short because i just wasn't feeling it i wasn't into it i don't know it's just my mind wasn't right at right today um i still worked out for like 45 minutes though but i didn't do the stair stepper uh, for my last 15 minutes and Coles was a bust they didn't have nothing i wanted today um everything not everything but a lot of the stuff that i wanted to do was a bust old navy was a bust they didn't have nothing i wanted Bath and Body Works was a semi bus. I had a 20% off coupon. And I was hoping to get some candles with it. And like, I was going to fully up on everything wallflowers, candles, room sprays. I was going to get it all since I have 20% off discount. But the candles weren't on sale. And not only buy on sale candles. Even though I still have a 20% off coupon, I still only want to buy on sale candles. $24.54 candle just don't sit right with my spirit. I don't care if I'm getting 20% off. I don't care. So. 
I didn't use my 20% off the coupon for that reason because if I'm gonna use it I want to use it when I'm going full gusto and so I just picked up a couple things like the two for one and then I had a free body care gift so I got that and then everything else was pretty good Victoria's Secret I got some stuff I'm excited about y'all and Marshall's I almost wish somebody could have recorded me in Marshall's the way I acted in there was actually concerning so I'm in there and I'm like oh I didn't get a card because I'm like I'm only stop I'm only in here just to check things out I wanted to check out their shoes because I've been trying to build my shoe collection because especially winter shoes because I feel like I've told you guys this before but it just seems like every time in the winter time when it's time to put an outfit on that I can't wear Uggs with I be lost looking crazy because I don't know what to wear with them and so I wanted to get my shoe I want to get more shoes and so I stopped by the shoe section and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna just glance at the perfume section too y'all tell me why as I was walking to the perfume section they had people stocking the perfume section and when I tell you this thing was stocked to the max and I had already seen good stuff and they it was two of them stocking it so they was pretty covering they was pretty much like covering the whole little because it's just like a it's just a display like it's not a whole aisle or anything it's just a display so between the two of them and their big old you know buckets that they were using to fill it up no one else could get over there which i was glad about so i stayed in the purse section i just was lingering in the purse section and looking at the same purse for like 10 minutes while they finished racking it up as soon as they left i stepped right over to that perfume section oh my gosh y'all they have so much stuff so much stuff that i wanted or so much stuff that like it was good stuff but i already had it so you know i'm not gonna buy it again but they had good stuff and i was just like oh this was so what's today saturday maybe i need to start coming on saturdays because they literally were stocking it up which is weird that they were stocking it up on the saturday it's the middle of the day that seems like it'll be a very busy time for them but to each their own it's none of my business but yeah so oh it was some stuff that i just had to leave because i had already kind of done more than I said I would do so I just had to leave it I just had to leave it which pained me but I'm gonna come back and I left the stuff that I felt like they kind of always have or I could always kind of catch it but so yeah that's just what's going on now it's still raining and I want some good food because I know I'm gonna go home and cuddle up I'm not cleaning my room I'm taking a nap and then I'm gonna get up and clean my room and everything and I'll probably do my nails tonight too but I want some good food to lay down to like I was think I was gonna get McDonald's but if all else fails I will get McDonald's but I want something good like something that's gonna touch my spirit right now and I can't think of what that'll be I just can't think of it y'all I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna get back with y'all okay y'all so this is what I decided on getting I got a calzone some meat lovers calzone with some buffalo wings and some fries gonna bash and i'm gonna have this for the next couple days <laughs> hey guys so i'm back it's much later it's like seven and i got up and made myself my ice cream macchiato because i think i'm gonna stay up late tonight even though i probably shouldn't because I'm going to church tomorrow and I'm super excited. I want to get all done up and to go to church tomorrow because I have not been to church. I haven't been to church in a minute. Like it's been a long time. Like now y'all know I I'm a I'm a religious person. I pray, I read my Bible, I watch sermons, but I have not been in a church in a physical church. I mean, and church can be wherever. Church can be my room. Church can be my bathroom. Church can be my car. But I haven't been in a universal home of worship in a minute. It's been like over a year, like since right before the pandemic started. Of course, you know, all the in-person stuff. So that was the last time I've gone. And I haven't been to church since then. And so my friend Sammy invited me to her church tomorrow and i'm super excited and i want to get all done up and church starts at 10 so in order for me to give myself enough time and not rush because i don't want to be late i need to get up by like seven which is why i shouldn't stay up late tonight but i'm gonna stay up late tonight because i need to i want to get some stuff done around my house i thought about filming a video 
I have all these. Um, I told you I went shopping today and I thought about filming a separate haul video. But I just decided against it. I'm just going to add it to the vlog. And I, in my actual haul video, I remember I was telling y'all, I was like, I don't really be finding nothing I want on H&M. Lately, I haven't even been going in there because I'm like, well, how about I keep wasting my time by going in here? Today, they got some good stuff. <clears throat> and everything that I got was very reasonably priced. So I got this long little... um little maxi dress and it has like slits in the bottom it's gonna be hard for you guys to see it i want to try it on but it looks super cute and it was $8.99 i just love floral prints it's like i wear a floral print any time of the year but especially in the spring and summer and i get that from my mom my mom loves floral prints another floral print maxi dress i also love a maxi and this one has another slit. It also has a slit, but the, um, excuse me, Bentley. The design of this one is different. Like the other one had buttons in the front and this, and it didn't have like a cinched in waist or anything. This one has both of those things. Picked up these black jeans and these have rips in them. And I got another pair and these don't have any rips in it. So I'll have some with and without rips. And I got these jeans. These are just super cute. I don't have a wash quite like this. This wash is like, it's like light, but it's not like super light. I have like all of my light jeans are like super light. And this is like a good middle for me. So I like this wash. And these were $19.99 again. All of these jeans were $19.99 except for one pair I got on clearance. Oh, these pair I got on clearance, they were $10.99. And then I got one more pair of black jeans. <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm crazy, but you just really can never have too many, especially because they get dingy. And then I got this ribbed skirt that has a slit in it. You guys can see the slit and it's gonna be super tight and form fitting and it's gonna look so good on me. And I have like different um, outfit ideas that I can wear with this and I'm excited about that. And then I got more jeans. Like, I don't know why I picked up so many jeans because Sorry, ran out of space. Well, y'all are probably thinking like, why did you pick up so many pairs of jeans when it's spring, about to be summer? But for one, I do wear jeans in the summer. Like, it'd be a look sometimes, depending on what you're wearing. And then also like, it's not gonna be those seasons forever. And this is, you're supposed to shop off season. My grandma always shops off season. And that's when you get the best prices for everything, when you shopping off season. So like, and these were just too cute to pass up in such a good price. Okay, Bath and Body Works. I told y'all I didn't get no candles, so. So, from Bath and Body Works, they, I did the buy two, get one free. I don't really be doing the buy three, get three free. I don't know why. I just don't be feeling like it. But, um, I picked up the scent, the Bahamas. And I got it in the lotion, the moisturizing body wash, and, of course, the spray. And then I had a coupon for a free body care gift. And it was up to $7.50. Of course, the only thing that was $7.50 or less was the travel size. So, I got it in the scent Fiji. And next time I go back, I'll get the other products in Fiji, like the shower gel and the lotion. But I just got this for today. I went to Victoria's Secret. I'm excited about my purchases at Victoria's Secret. It's really just one, two items that I'm really excited about. Let's y'all see how long my receipt is. I got a total discount of $153.36. Oh, and it was seven for 35 on Victoria's Secret underwear, not the pink underwear, which is weird because it's always the other way around. I got this little matching silk pajama set. It's got the tank top. It's super cute. I like these like the two tone with the lace. I got the tank top with the matching shorts. Super cute. And then I got the matching robe. How cute is this robe? This robe is just to die for. It's just so cute and flirty and it's just so, I love this robe. Then I picked up, they had a deal. You got a 1.7 ounce a roller ball in this bag and any bombshell scent and you can mix and match. So if you wanted the bombshell beach for the perfume and you wanted the bombshell seduction for the roller ball, you could do that. And then, you know, you can mix and match all the bombshell. 
and they did that for $75 now this bag is super cute it's they call it a beach bag and I see why because you can like put it around your wrist and I never keep these types of bags just because I don't use them but I might keep this one because this one I could definitely see how it could be useful and I got this in the scent bombshell beach got my seven for 35 underwear I know y'all are probably like, well, this girl just keep buying underwear. Yes, I do. I feel like you can never have too many underwear. I just, it's just something I believe. And then I got the two for 25 and I got the scent Pure Seduction Radiant. I did get a $20 off 50 rewards card there. Okay, last store is Marshalls. I picked up these cute house shoes because I wanted some new house shoes. I picked up this purse, Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Now I really debated on whether or not to get this. I really debated on it. But I ended up getting it because it was $29.99. And the reason I debated on it is because for one, I got another perfume from there already. And I got the perfume for Victoria's Secret. And I just ordered a perfume online the other day. And you guys know I'm overflowing. I'm overflowing with perfumes. And then I kind of have been telling myself limit to one each time I go somewhere, just limit myself to one. But I ended up getting this just because it was so cheap and I was watching I've been seeing euphoria like when I go to Marshall's they always have euphoria and I've been debating on whether or not to get it because I haven't heard anyone say that it smells good and I haven't smelled it myself personally so if I'm going to blind buy someone has had to I've had to heard something about it I don't blind buy and I've never heard anything about it now that's just that just don't make no sense to me and so I was watching a YouTube video the other day and this girl said that she likes Euphoria. So I picked it up and I'm really hoping I'm not disappointed because when I smelled, when I bought you to Eternity, I was disappointed. I'm not gonna lie, Calvin Klein disappointed me with Eternity. But apparently Euphoria is more popular. I'm kind of already not liking this, not gonna lie. I'm kind of mad already. We gon' we gonna try it though. We're gonna give it a fair shot. And if it doesn't work out, I did only spend $30 on it. Also for Marshalls, I just got this cute little black dad hat. I got Bentley this toy that says Puppuccino. <laughs> Bentley is spoiled. <laughs> I then got these little boots. Machino toy too. So I got this and it was $59.99. And I picked it up. It is it has the 3.4 fluid ounce of Machino Toy 2. And I think I was telling I think I was telling y'all in a vlog a while back. I really like Machino Toy 2. I have the um I have the little samples and now I have a big bottle. Stop playing with me. And it comes with a little it also comes with a beach towel. That's cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I would hope that one would walk away from my videos with the knowledge to not sleep on Marshalls. If you have learned nothing else from me, I hope you've learned that. And that is it for this TED Talk. I put some ice on you because you gotta go. I know I gotta keep my shorty on the go. Got that ass to the floor. Yeah. Uh -huh.